All right, so now we got the motor in after the pump, and the mid shaft is all set up. What I like to do at this point is uh, before I do any of my electrical or anything, that way you have a full visual on the actual coupler itself down below. And keep in mind that I have, to get it accurate, I dropped all the bolts in just by hand. Just a couple threads, so you can see they're standing tall right now. And then if you look down below, you can see how misaligned the two couplers yeah, are right now. And the motor's low compared to the mid shaft right now. And first, my first step would be to raise the motor up. But then you got to keep in mind as you're raising the motor up, you got to check your gaps on the top and the bottom to give you an idea as far as uh, tilt, the motor tilt compared to the mid shaft. For instance, if your gap is big on top, bigger on top than it is on the bottom, then you need to raise the front of the motor up to make it so it's compensated. So your shims will vary for your application, but uh, that gives you kind of an idea as far as how, how to shim the motor. And uh, we need to raise it up in certain areas. So at this point, I'll take some shims that I've already got set up and I'll drop them in key areas, like so. Now that I got my shims in, I want to push it and close the gap right about. Yeah, just under four millimeters is where I like to have it. Spec is two to four millimeters. And I like to run my, the, the gap just a little bit bigger so you got room to flex. And you can see now that I got all the shims in place. how nice and even the coupler is from one end to the other. And then you want to make sure it's the same gap all the way around. You can either feel it with your finger and you want to make sure the transition feels nice from one to the other. And you can even take it here. If you're uncertain, you can just take a look down below and check your gap like that. And it looks the same on the bottom as it is on top.